We were supposed to do 100 kickflips today, but I don't know what's happening. We were supposed to meet someone here to do 100 kickflips. We had a pair of shoes. I don't know where they're at. So, so we have the shoes. I, uh, they just showed up via USPS uh, first day freight from our friends at Adidas. But we can't do 100 kickflips without a person or a skateboard. There is a skateboard. We got, okay, we're almost there. I don't know whose skateboard this is. We're gonna get these hundred. Oh, hey, Nora. Hey, I got your stuff. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so it turns out we're gonna do 100 kickflips today with Nora Vasconcelos. We're gonna be skating Lucas. And yeah, let's give a little test run. So, Nora, is this your first time doing 100 kickflips? It is. Are you nervous? Yes. I like how you just unboxed them on accident. They just kind of yes, fell out of the box. They did. Um, it's also my first time skating this shoe, so I'm uh, rather excited. Ever. Ever. She's never skated the shoe before. She's ever, gonna have to ever. do 100 kickflips right away. First one in the grass. Nora, so I think you uh, I think you misunderstood. You were just supposed to do kickflips on flat ground. I was just warming up. Oh, okay. So can we see the shoes flat. after your warm up? Very, very gentle wear. Let's say I've probably tried at least 100 times. A lot of times when people do this, we get a lot up here on the front, and we usually get what we call shoe pubes, but we don't have a lot on this. No. Sometimes you get those little squirrelies that come off. You're a full foot flicker. You get a little wear on the little the eyelets. Eyelets up here, all the way up. In an eyelet. Yeah, I definitely thing. flick the full foot. You got a little lace wear. Yeah. Are you, a, are you a lace ripper usually? Yeah. The one, the second lace. Mm -hmm. Look at it, it's holding on I by know. a thread. Chris, get in there. So we're looking at a little off the rubber, a little bit on the suede, but mostly we're getting everything right there. You try to take off one of the stripes. I don't know how many you did already. Twenty something. You want to go do twenty something more on uh, the blue, the blue lagoon over there? Let's go to the blue lagoon. So, Nora, you lost the lace. That's pretty normal. We lost her. Yeah, that's actually what happens all the time. Yeah. When I flip, it's like but then you can see like from here to here is my flip zone. Like it's pretty wide. It's like a big flip zone, like a batter has a big strike zone. So yeah, same a little bit there, a little wear on the stitching there kind of. This is definitely your zone and then uh, I like how it feels so far though. Still feels pretty new. They break in super easy, but so far it's pulling out really good. Get out there and do more kick flips. All right, how's she's looking? Oh yeah, there's nothing to write home about. Same one lace, same little fray there. Feeling really good. Yeah, what do you call that in shoe speed? I call this panty liner of the shoe. It's holding up very nicely. It's allowing the wear to be rather aesthetically pleasing. Still wears really good right here. It's growing a little bit on the suede. Shoelace is gone, but I have not lost the tension, which is unique. This is a really even wear. We're losing some letters of the uh, oh, insole. inside. To 100? looking pretty good. You put a new lace in that baby. It's totally good. They barely look like there's anything in done. Just yeah. like a little rub and that's about it. You could probably sell these on close five for like 20 bucks. You mm -hmm. switch out the laces and then they look like it's still a new shoe. This is really evenly shooting down. I suggest getting this shoe if you like to flip the board because it lasts a long time. And where can you get this shoe? At CCS.com. Ask your parents to get you the shoe or get a job and pay for them yourself or buy them for a friend. In a western town, the dead end world, the eastern boys.